favor is so much better than pretty privilege. Hi there, beauty queens. Welcome back to Refining Beauty. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Hey, girl. Moving honey. right along on today's topic, I would say pretty privilege. It's been a hot topic for the past few years, especially with social media outlets that we use, different reality shows that we see, people on TV, people getting Botox, and all of that just to enhance their beauty, including makeup as well. I would just stand here and just say, today, today, I see myself as a confident, secure woman, but it was not always like that. Growing up, I lived in a predominantly white town where the population for, I would just say, even just people of color, so that's Black, Hispanic, biracial, would probably make up about 5%. Just to kind of give you a snapshot, my high school graduating class was 500 students. Out of the 500 students, there was all of, I would say, 20 Black people. So <laughs> that will give you an idea. Growing up, the idea of pretty was something that I struggled with. In the class, I typically was the only Black girl. If I was not the only Black girl or person of color, let's just say that, you know, there were were girls in there who predominantly were were biracial so they were either black and asian or i would just specifically say filipino because of the military base that was in the city where i'm from or they were black and white and so growing up i always had this idea that pretty just from the attention that i saw all the girls getting was either white mainly blonde hair blue eyes or the girls who were invited to hang out with the cool pretty girls the the i would say girls of color who typically hung out with them were mainly fair-skinned black girls or biracial girls i had this idea growing up that i was just not enough i was not pretty enough i was too dark my hair was too black <laughs> i wore braids and so it, it hit a soft spot for me. As I grew older, I felt like I had to change myself. I felt like I had to act more white or be around a certain crowd of people or even just to kind of flip it when, you know, my two best friends, they're, they're both mixed. I, that's just what we say during my time. They're both mixed. And so I have my two best friends who are fair skinned, beautiful hair, beautiful. And then there's me. The black girl i felt like i had to find ways to make me feel more pretty so for them they didn't really wear makeup or have to put on makeup but i felt like i i needed to to make me look pretty feel pretty get the same attention that they did but really on the inside was just more insecurity more insecurity about who i was insecure and made me feel insecure about being a black girl or even just growing up into college, a, a black woman, it kind of just kind of stripped me from my identity of me feeling pretty, if that makes sense. I definitely struggle with pretty. I definitely understand people who say it's not fair that these girls have these pretty privileges. Yeah, it's I, I've been there before and it hurts and it's difficult when you don't get the guys looking at you, you don't get the compliments, you don't really get anything. Or if you do get something, I definitely a lot of times have been called, oh, she's pretty for a black girl. I've even had times where my friends would say, you know, because I was, according to people, pretty for a black girl, they would say, oh, Yanni, don't say you're black, just say you're Jamaican or just say you're like from Panama, like the country Panama. But now that I'm older, I'm realizing, no, I need to say I'm Black because they need to realize that, hey, Black girls are pretty too. Which brings me to my point. So not too long ago, I was watching this video of this Black girl talking about her struggles with pretty privilege. Um, similar to me, she's had experiences where she's been around other girls and guys paid all of the other girls' attention except, except her. I think she even considered herself like the girl who held the purses, the girl, like like the help, basically, the help for the pretty girls. And she was just saying it, it wasn't fair and how, you know, even as I've watched the video, it's kind of as if she settled in this place where I've accepted that I am not considered 
pretty. She accepted that she may not ever find someone who could adore her or tell her that she's beautiful. Overall, it, it just felt like she was in a place where she was just settling where she is, like settling with mediocre and everything and everything that she did. And I understood her sentiments, like I got it, but I feel like the Holy Spirit prompted me like, now ask me what I think about it. And so as her words kind of resonated about her difficulty with pretty privilege and comparing herself to like Lori Harvey and Sierra and all of these celebrities that she'll never get there. That's a different story. But so I was just praying and I was like, okay, God, like I get what she's saying. Been there before. How do you see pretty privilege? Surprisingly enough, as busy as I am, I sat there. I waited for him to respond. He said these words to me and I hope it encourages you. He says, Yanni, my favor is so much better than pretty privilege. And when I tell you, even now, like tears just kind of about to flow down my face because it's so true and when i just think about all the times where because of his favor that has been bestowed upon my life i realized it was so much better than those moments where i had pretty privilege not to put my business out there but to put it out there i've had interviews where i've gotten an amazing salary not because of pretty privilege because of god's favor and also to add to that a lot of times with these job positions that i I felt that I wasn't qualified for and applied for anyway. I got them on the spot. And these people will tell me like, you know what? We've never hired anybody on the spot before. Even yesterday, I was interviewing for a position and the guy just basically said, I'm ready to hire you on the spot, but I have one more person I have to interview. And I know that it was God's favor. It had nothing to do with my looks. I've had issues at the airport and I know I probably shouldn't have been on the flight, but the lady was just like, you know what? Don't even worry about it. Go ahead. I've had people give me things for free. These are women and we all know how we women are. Like we're not checking for you. <laughs> I get things for free all the time. My children get things free all the time because in advance, I pray for God's favor. I declare God's favor over my children. I thank God in advance for favor before I go to go on vacation, before I go to the grocery store, before I have a girl's weekend. And God shows up like we get the best treatment. We get the best service. We get free stuff. Just to think about it, it is beyond me. But I just want to share that with you today. You may feel insecure about how you look, what society says, the mold that you may not fit into in society's standards. I want to remind you that God's favor is so, so much better because guess what? Pretty privilege you got to work for it. You got to maintain it. You got to stay pretty. You got to stay in the gym. Your makeup has to be on point. These girls got to get Botox. These, I mean, they have to go through so much just to get that, be deemed to have this pretty privilege. And I've done it all. I mean, well, I lie. I haven't done it all. But, you know, I put on the makeup and some days I'm like, I'm. I, it's tiresome to be able to maintain the pretty privileged status it is tiresome it is exhausting trust me i've been there in college where you got to shop for clothes and you got to have on the cute outfit and you got to find things to enhance your body and it's tiresome it's gonna cost you a whole lot of money you have to work hard to get it and maintain pretty privilege and just to add to that number one there's always going to be somebody who's prettier okay there's always going to be someone who's prettier than you. Number two, you don't want to be with someone who only sees this, who only sees what you offer. You want someone who's going to pursue you for what's inside of you, your heart, your kindness. I've shared there's a lot of pretty ugly people out here in this world. And even before I got married, I always thought that I knew who I was going to marry would be different, but I also just settled that he may not be that great because I've always had that idea. I think it's that idea of unworthiness because I, I was not considered the pretty girl, quote unquote. And guess what? I got the man of my dreams. Because of him, I get to travel all over the world. I never would have thought in a million years that I would have a husband who not only adores me, loves his family, 
loves his children. He is a black Brit. <laughs> like, he is my Idris Elba. I just want to remind you that God, if you trust him and know that his favor is far greater, he will put pretty privilege to shame, okay? Let me tell you, I'm a living testament that God's favor, it doesn't run out. It's so much better than pretty privilege. Let me know if you agree. Let me know what you think. I will see you in the comments section. Oh yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. Make sure that you're sharing this video with your girlfriends, with people that you may know that need to hear this. Subscribe too if you want to continue watching my Glow and Glow videos. Take care. Bye.